Chester Zoo is a zoo at Upton by Chester, Cheshire, England. Chester Zoo was opened in 1931 by George Mottershead and his family. It is one of the UK's largest zoos at 51 hectares. The zoo has a total land holding of approximately 160 hectares. Chester Zoo is operated by the North of England Zoological Society, a registered charity founded in 1934. The zoo receives no government funding. It is the most visited wildlife attraction in Britain with more than 2 million visitors in 2019. In 2007 Forbes described it as one of the 15 best zoos in the world. In 2017, it was named as the best zoo in the UK and third in the world by TripAdvisor. The Mottershead family's market garden business was based in Shavington near Crewe. George Mottershead collected animals such as lizards and insects that arrived with exotic plants imported by the business. A visit to Bellevue Zoo in Manchester as a boy in 1903 fueled his developing interest in creating a zoo of his own. Mottershead was wounded in the First World War and spent several years in a wheelchair. Despite this, his collection of animals grew and he began to search for a suitable home for his zoo. He chose Oakfield Manor in Upton by Chester, which was a country village then but now is a suburb of Chester. He bought Oakfield Manor for £3,500 in 1930. The house had nine acres of gardens and provided easy access to the railways and to Manchester and Liverpool. There were local objections, but Mottershead prevailed, and Chester Zoo opened to the public on June 10, 1931. The first animals were displayed in pens in the courtyard. An ordnance survey into mile map published in 1936 shows the area around as farmland and villages and marks the present zoo area north of Oakfield as Butter Hill. Rapid expansion followed after the Second World War, despite the difficulty of sourcing materials. Mottershead had to be resourceful, the polar bear exhibit was built from recycled wartime road blocks and pillboxes. Always building was the zoo's slogan at the time. Mottershead received the OBE, an honorary degree of MSc, and served as president of the International Union of Zoo Directors. He died in 1978 aged 84. Mottershead wanted to build a zoo without the traditional Victorian iron bars to cage the animals. He was influenced by the ideas of Carl Hagenbeck, who invented the modern zoo concept and by Heine Hedegger, a pioneer of ethology. At Chester, Mottershead took Hagenbeck's idea for moats and ditches as an alternative to cage bars, and extended their use throughout the zoo, often with species that Hagenbeck had not considered. For example, when chimpanzees were released into their new enclosure at Chester in 1956, a group of grassy islands, they were separated from visitors by no more than a 12-foot strip of water. Nobody knew then if chimps could swim. It turned out that they could not, and today the chimp islands are a centerpiece of Chester Zoo. In 1986 the zoo was enclosed with a fence, in line with the Zoo Licensing Act 1981. Realm of the Red Ape, an Indonesian forest-themed exhibit, featuring threatened Sumatran and Bornean orangutan, opened in May 2007. In January 2009, Chester Zoo unveiled Natural Vision, a £225 million plan to transform itself into the largest conservation attraction in Europe. The first phase of the plan was to be a £90 million, 56-hectare enclosed African rainforest-themed sanctuary containing a band of gorillas and a troop of chimpanzees as well as okapi and a variety of tropical birds, amphibians, reptiles, fishes, and invertebrates, moving freely among lush vegetation. It included a water ride to take visitors through the exhibit. Natural Vision was to eventually include a 90-room hotel, a conservation college, and a revamped main entrance that would link the zoo to a marina to be developed on zoo land, all to be completed by 2018. Plans went before the public for comment in June 2009. The projected Heart of Africa biodome, along with plans for the hotel, were shelved in 2011 due to the loss of £40 million potential funding when the Northwest Regional Development Agency was abolished. In December 2012 planning permission was gained for a later phase of the Natural Vision Master Plan. One of the largest zoo developments in Europe, Islands at Chester Zoo is a £40 million redevelopment project to extend the zoo's footprint and recreate six island habitats of Southeast Asia. As of 2017 it is now open. A 600,000 square foot nature reserve was opened in April 2018. The reserve sits outside the boundary of the main zoo and is free for people to enter. In October 2018, two Indian elephant calves died of elephant endotheliotropic herpes virus. From 1995 on this virus disease has caused many deaths of Indian elephants across the world in zoos and in the wild. 
On December 15, 2018, an electrical fault caused a fire to break out at the monsoon forest habitat. The zoo had to be evacuated and was closed. Fifteen fire crews attended the zoo along with two rapid response units and an ambulance. All mammals were accounted for and one person was treated for the effects of smoke inhalation. Some birds, frogs, fish and small insects were killed in the blaze. The zoo reopened on Sunday, December 16, 2018. Chester Zoo Monorail was an internal transport system for visitors from 1991 to 2019, but was closed as it had become unreliable and covered less than half the zoo due of the zoo's expansion to over 125 acres. Land from the monorail will be used for a new attraction called Grasslands, an open African savanna habitat and a restaurant. The North of England Zoological Society is the organization that runs Chester Zoo and the conservation campaign, Act for Wildlife. It was formed in 1934 by the zoo's founder, George Mottershead. The zoo is managed by an executive team led by Jamie Criston, CEO, and he reports to the Board of Trustees for the North of England Zoological Society. Jamie is tasked with focusing on the one plan business model, which supports the strategic development plan and conservation master plan. The executive have a particular focus on education and change through its people and culture. The zoo employs over 650 permanent staff, increasing to over 1,000 during the main summer period, making it the largest zoo in the UK. New bridge over flag lane mobility scooters and locker and buggy hire are available near the main entrance. The zoo is bisected by a public bridleway, flag lane. For many years, a single bridge, drivable by zoo vehicles and powered wheelchairs, near the elephant exhibit was the only crossing place within the grounds. A second crossing, passable by pedestrians and mobility scooters, called Bats Bridge, opened in April 2008 near the Twilight Zone, has improved the ability of visitors to circulate. The Jaguar Building Chester's catering facilities include Bembe Kitchen near the main entrance which opened in 2006. June's Pavilion is on the west of the zoo and Monado Street Kitchen is found on Sulawesi in the island's exhibit. The Oakfield Restaurant, in a Victorian mansion house near the Lion Enclosure, and the Acorn Bar, are both used for private functions as well as catering to zoo visitors. There are children's play areas, shops, kiosks and several picnic lawns around the zoo. A second pedestrian entrance is located in the southeast corner of the zoo behind Oakfield House. For a long time the public entrance was at the east end off Call Road. In recent years the public entrance has moved to the north side with dedicated access off the A41 Chester Bypass. Thus the zoo is entered in the newer part west of Flag Lane, near the Elephants, and the old car parks at the east end are being built over with service and educational buildings. The zoo owns land outside the public area and uses that land to grow food for its herbivorous animals. Female rhinoceros hornbill Chester Zoo holds a large and diverse collection. At the end of 2007, over half the species at the zoo appeared on the Yukon Red List and 155 were classified as threatened species. 134 species were kept as part of a managed captive breeding program. The zoo manages the stud books for Congo buffalo, jaguar, blue-eyed cockatoo, Madagascan tree boa, gemsbok, black rhinoceros. Ecuadorian Amazon parrot, Mindanao writhe-billed hornbill, Sumatran tiger and Rodriguez flying fox. In addition, Chester holds 265 threatened plant species. At the end of 2015, Chester Zoo became the first zoo outside of New Zealand to breed the Tuatara. The zoo opened islands at Chester Zoo in July 2015, a project extending the footprint of the zoo by 15 acres and built to the south of the west half of the current site. Island showcases areas where the zoo is involved in conservation programs, including Sumatra, the Philippines and Indonesia. Visitors are able to walk between the islands via a series of bridges and can also view the animals whilst on a boat trip. The project also includes educational exhibits, play areas and a restaurant, the Monado Street Kitchen. The exhibit is opening in phases with Phase 1 including a boat trip around the enclosures for visitors to view some of the zoo's key species from Southeast Asia, including the Cyan Warty Pigs, Southern Cassowary, Javan Banteng, Lowland Anoa and North Sulawesi Babarusa, plus a walkthrough bird aviary featuring the critically endangered Bali Starling, as well as Java Sparrows, Pied Imperial Pigeons and Yellowback Chattering Horse. Young Female Sumatran Tiger Phase 2 opened later in the summer and includes Sumatran Tigers, Sunda Gorails, and other reptiles, birds and invertebrates. That phase including Monsoon Forest is now complete and open with the installation of the Sumatran Orangutans and the arrival of a breeding pair of Javan Silvery Gibbons in December 2015. 
A third phase for islands opened in summer 2017. The third phase included new exhibits for Malayan sunbear, Palawan bincharongs, Malayan taper, and a new songbird aviary featuring various birds from Indonesia as well as the critically endangered Javan green magpie. The magpies are, sometimes, off-show and replaced by Sumatran laughing thrush. An exhibit for dusky potamelons and Goodfellows tree kangaroo was completed and opened in May 2018, alongside enclosures for cloud rats, tree shrews and prevost squirrels. Monsoon Forest reopened in late 2020, having been renovated following the 2018 fire that gutted much of the building and caused the deaths of some smaller species. The new monsoon forest continues to be themed around the rainforests of Southeast Asia and features a large free flight bird area exhibiting many species of Southeast Asian bird. Birds on display include Victoria crowned pigeon, black-browed barbet, white rump shama, chestnut back thrush, Asian fairy bluebird, superb fruit dove, fire-tufted barbet, Javan green magpie, black-naped oriole and blue-crowned hanging parrots. Also exhibited are a variety of Southeast Asian invertebrates, fish, small mammals, amphibians and reptiles, including tentacled snake, vampire crabs, several species of tortoise and sundagarayals. There are also further enclosures for the zoo's rhinoceros hornbill, Sulawesi crested macaque, silvery gibbon and Sumatran orangutans. An Asian elephant Chester was the first zoo in the UK to successfully breed Asian elephants in captivity. The most famous of these was Jubilee, so named as he was born in 1977, the year of the Queen's Silver Jubilee. The zoo currently has a breeding herd of six elephants, composed of two males and four females. The elephant house also used to house African elephants, rhinos, hippos and tapers. Madi, a hybrid African-Asian elephant calf was born in July 1978, but died in infancy. A 2 million pounds breeding facility modeled on an Assam rainforest called Elephants of the Asian Forest opened in Easter 2006 as a major alteration of the zoo's previous elephant house. Inside the elephant house, other indigenous Asian species are exhibited, including, azure-winged magpies, red-billed blue magpies, red-bellied squirrels, Bellinger's tree shrews and northern Luzon giant cloud rats. The former Arowana Aquarium now holds McCord's box turtle along with various species of Asiatic fish. For recent research into a disease risk, see elephant endotheliotropic herpes virus. Jaguar Spirit of the Jaguar was opened in 2001 and is sponsored by Jaguar Cars and was designed by McCormick Architecture. The exhibit is split into four sections. The two inside are modeled on a rainforest and a dry savanna, and the two outside contain rivers and pools so that the jaguars can exercise their swimming skills. A new breeding pair of jaguars, Napo and Goshi arrived from separate French zoos in spring 2013. The jaguar pair inhabit two of the four exhibits. The others house a family of bush dogs. Chile and Pudu are housed adjacent to the bush dogs. Spirit of the Jaguar is also home to a colony of leafcutter ants, sloths, and an aquarium featuring numerous rainforest fish such as discus fish and shoals of tetera. The exhibit went through another makeover in late 2011, and now has a theme focusing on human-slash-wildlife conflict. An outdoor enclosure for two toad sloths is located just outside which also houses a czar Zagudi. Orangutan mother and baby meet the public face to face. Lar given realm of the red ape is a three pounds. Five million extension to the existing orangutan house, home to Bornean orangutans, and was the most expensive capital project in the zoo's history before the construction of islands. The exhibit opened to the public on May 26, 2007 after a two-year construction period. It comprises a new two-story building linked to the existing orangutan house with three indoor and two outdoor enclosures providing accommodation for a larger number of apes. The outdoor areas can be viewed from a first-floor public gallery and feature mesh roofs supported by tree-like structures which act as climbing frames for the apes. A male Sumatran orangutan was born at the zoo in November 2019. A further enclosure houses a group of lar gibbons. Animals and plants from Indonesia are exhibited inside realm of the red ape in a rainforest-themed setting. Birds on display include blue-crowned hanging parrots, Timor sparrows, chestnut back thrushes, roll roll partridges, superb fruit doves and black nape fruit doves. Crocodile monitors, reticulated pythons, red-tailed racers, bell's angle head lizards, Chinese water dragons, emerald tree monitors, white-lipped tree vipers and green tree pythons feature among the reptiles. Invertebrates include rhinoceros beetles, golden silk spiders, jungle nymphs, common crows, Malaysian katydids and leaf insects. 
Located next to Realm of the Red Ape is an enclosure for Oriental small clawed otters. The zoo Sumatran orangutans were relocated from Realm of the Red Ape to a new exhibit in the island's development during January 2016. A chimpanzee group this pavilion was opened in 1989 by Diana, Princess of Wales and Countess of Chester, and is home to 26 western chimpanzees. This is the largest colony of chimps in Europe, housed in the Roundhouse, a conical indoor enclosure linked to an outside moated island. The island is planted with many bushes and has large poles for the chimps to climb on. The inside area has a climbing frame that allows the chimps to stay close together on several levels of platform. There are seven interconnected off-show dens. Eastern Black Rhinoceros The zoo's Black Rhinoceros exhibit, modeled on the Savo National Park in Kenya, was opened in 2003 at a cost of £2 million. The zoo has a successful breeding program for the Eastern Black Rhino and has successfully bred eight calves between 2008 and 2018. Meerkats are kept in an enclosure nearby. The wetlands features a large African wetland aviary alongside Savo, and is home to black storks, black-crowned cranes, bears poachards, white-headed ducks, white-faced whistling ducks and other waterfowl. In 2009, a walk-through bird safari with African bird species opened. It currently houses von der Decken's hornbills, lilac-breasted rollers, hammer cops, weaver birds, blacksmith plovers, red-winged starling, white-crowned robin chat, white-crested taracos and a variety of guinea fowl. Adjacent to the bird safari is a large pen for wattled crane. Formerly the Flamingo Aviary, the new Latin American wetlands opened in spring 2021. The new enclosure is much larger and includes a large free flight area to allow for natural flight behavior for its residents. The walkthrough enclosure includes new planting, several bird hides and a raised walkway, and is themed around the wetlands of Central and South America. Various wildfowl and wading birds are exhibited, including Caribbean flamingos, saffron finches, roseate spoonbill, Orinoco goose, black-bellied whistling ducks, black-necked stilts, ring teals, Brazilian teals, wild muscovy duck and scarlet ibis. Fruit bat forest, formerly the twilight zone, is the largest free-flying bat cave in Europe. The cave holds two species of bat, Rodriguez fruit bats, and Saba short-tailed bats. It is also home to a varied collection of other species including greater hedgehog tenrex and blind cave fish. Monkey Islands was opened in 1997, replacing the old monkey house, and is currently home to four monkey species, Colombian black spider monkeys, mandrels, lion-tailed macaques and buffy-headed capuchin. Campbell's ganons and porcupines were formerly housed in the exhibit, and Sulawesi crested macaques were kept here until they moved to islands in 2015. Visitors enter the monkey house and view the animals from a central corridor. Each species has a glass-fronted indoor enclosure with climbing apparatus and an outdoor enclosure, moated and heavily planted. Miniature Monkeys, opened in May 2004, consists of two enclosures. The first is home to a pair of pied tamarins with pygmy marmosets, and the second is shared by three emperor tamarins and three golden-headed lion tamarins. Azar Zagutis, Jeffrey's Marmosets, Black-tailed Marmosets, Black Lion Tamarins, Red TD and White-faced Sockus have also been housed here in the past but have been moved out for various reasons. Bears of the Cloud Forest opened in 2004 and is home to a pair of spectacled bears and other South American animals. The purpose-built exhibit is designed to mimic the bear's natural habitat by providing trees and rocky terrain. Nearby are paddocks housing capybaras, giant anteater and Brazilian tapers. Guanaco and Vicuna were previously housed with Rhea. The zoo's first spectacled bear cub was born in January 2017. The two okapis at the zoo formerly the camel house, this enclosure adjoining the giraffe house was remodeled in 2006 to house Okapi. Initially two males were kept, Dickie arrived from Marwell Wildlife in 2005 and Mbuti came from Bristol Zoo in the same year. In 2006 Dickie left for London Zoo to make way for a female named Stuma from Germany. In 2009 Mbuti and Dickie were swapped back, with Mbuti going to London Zoo and Dickie coming back to Chester. Other animals that can be seen here include red forest duikers, gaboon vipers, and short-eared elephant shrews. Mount Kulal spiny mice and mesic four-striped grass mice have also been kept here in the past along with various other small species. The Okapi bred for the first time in 2012, producing a female calf named Tafari. Two further Okapi calves were born in 2014 and 2021 respectively the fountain and gardens in front of islands endanger this exhibit is primarily a herpetarium. 
For the Zeus Komodo Dragon it was opened in 1998 and extended in 2003 to include an outdoor enclosure used by the dragons in the warmer summer months. The exhibit is built on the site of the zoo's former birdhouse. In 2007, several young baby Komodo dragons were put on display after one of the zoo's two females laid eggs which hatched although the female had not been mated. This is parthenogenesis, the first such case recorded in this species. The exhibit was revamped in 2009 to house Caribbean iguanas in one section of the building. It now currently houses spiny hill turtles, golden coin turtles, and Indochinese box turtles in one side and the critically endangered mountain chicken frogs with some Caribbean hermit crabs in the other. Dragons in Danger also houses various Indonesian and Philippine rainforest birds, such as Palauan peacock pheasants, pheasant pigeons, Montserrat orioles and Visayan pteroctic hornbills. Recently added was a pair of Philippine mouse deer which have successfully bred. Formerly housed here were plowshare tortoises, collared iguanas and Montserrat tarantulas which Chester bred in 2016 for the first time in captivity. Other former species kept in the exhibit include Socorro doves, Mindanao bleeding hearts, Papuan lorikeets and St. Lucia parrots. Located near the former tiger enclosure, this area used to be a petting farm, but was closed due to an outbreak of foot and mouth disease. The petting farm is now a picnic lawn and a former kune kune pig enclosure has been demolished in favor of a food stall. Mongoose Mania, which houses dwarf mongooses features tunnels beneath the enclosure which allow children to crawl through, popping up their heads into plastic domes to give them a mongoose's eye view of the world. In early 2010, the Californian sea lions left the collection. Over the late winter the pool was converted to house a new species to the zoo. The giant otters went on show for the first time on March 26, 2010. The zoo bred their first pups in 2013. In the neighboring enclosure, a large breeding group of over 50 Humboldt penguins have their own pool, and visitors can watch the birds from an underwater viewing window. The waterfall just inside the tropical realm's entrance Chester's tropical realm is Britain's largest tropical house at over 26,000 cubic meters. Opened in 1964, most of the interior is an open-plan space extending to roof level and themed with pools and mature tropical plants, with pathways for visitors through the undergrowth. Here, more than 30 species of birds are free-flying, including Nicobar pigeons, various species of starlings and ground birds such as crested partridges. Aviaries in Bavaria are arranged around the sides of the building, those on the upper level were originally designed for birds of paradise and the hornbill aviaries were originally made for gorillas. The aviaries currently house birds such as great Indian hornbills, rhinoceros hornbills, two pairs of pteroctic hornbill, writhed billed hornbills, red crested taracos, Palauan peacock pheasants. Congo peafowl, Bali starlings, blue crowned pigeons, fairy bluebirds, white rump shama, white crested taracos, snowy crowned robin chats, Mindanao bleeding hearts, green aracari, and Luzon scops owls. At the entrance is an aviary for Sumatran laughing thrushes and gray winged blackbird. The tropical realm is also the center of the reptile collection. The crocodile pools currently house spectacled caimans in one and white winged wood ducks and a yellow-faced mina in the other. Near the entrance is an enclosure for tuataras. This lizard-like species from New Zealand is the last surviving sphenodont, a prehistoric group of reptiles, and Chester is the only British zoo to exhibit them. In February 2016, a tuatara hatched for the first time outside of New Zealand, leading Chester Zoo to be the only zoo to have bred them anywhere else. There were many varieties of snakes and lizards in the past, emerald tree boas and moe and dwarfs rat snakes now being the only remaining. The lizard collection is now made up of serrated cascade iguanas, graham's anoles, caiman lizards, and a parson's chameleon. Tortoises are represented by Galapagos and radiated. Amphibians include poison dart frogs, golden mantellas, blue-legged mantellas, a Rio Cauca Sicilian, Borneo-eared frogs and Morlet's tree frogs. There is also a pair of Philippine mouse deer near the poison dart frogs. In the winter of 2015-2016 the former yellow-breasted capuchin exhibit at the rear of Tropical Realm was converted to house a pair of Aya and a group of Malagasy giant jumping rats. The outdoor area houses a group of cottontop tamarins. This aviary was formerly home to Andean condors but is now the home to a variety of European birds after Europe on the Edge was demolished in late 2017. The species include here consist of European black vultures. There are also Eurasian spoonbills, northern bald ibises and little egrets as well as a selection of waterfowl. Smaller birds include rock doves, azure-winged magpies and the native but rare red-billed chuff. 
A vulture at the zoo blue-throated macaw parrots housed off show here include red-vented cockatoos, lesser sulfur-crested cockatoos, red and blue lorries, yellow-backed chattering lorries, Mount Apo lorikeets and blue and yellow macaws. The only ones on show are Ecuador Amazons. Most of the birds were moved to the rare parrot breeding center from the old parrot house when it was demolished in 2005 to make way for Realm of the Red Ape. This exhibit consists of two aviaries housing rare and endangered South American parrots and macaws. These include great green macaws, in the aviary outside of the tropical realm and blue-throated macaws and elegant crested tinamous in the other, next to the sand lizards. The aquarium is a small and traditional building housing a varied collection of freshwater and marine fish, aquatic invertebrates and amphibians. It has had notable success breeding seahorses and achieved the first captive breeding of the freshwater Matoro stingray. Other notable fish include pinstripe dambas, mudskippers, tropical reef fish and various Lake Malawi cichlids. Invertebrates such as starfish, sea urchins and several species of coral and shrimps are housed with the fish. Scimitar horned oryx as Cytotungas in 2008, Asian Plains received its official opening. Based around a mixed species paddock featuring Burmese brow and antler deer, the exhibit has recently been extended to include new enclosures for greater one-horned rhinoceros. The male rhino was joined by a female in 2008 to form a pair which the zoo hoped would breed. Sadly in November 2009 the male Indian rhino Patna was put down due to a long-standing leg injury. The zoo obtained a replacement mail from Edinburgh Zoo in March 2010. Since they were closely related the previous female departed for a zoo in Spain shortly after, and the zoo are in the progress of creating a breeding situation, Babu has now been exchanged for Benny from Pilsen Zoo. Two Indian rhino calves have been born on the plane, the most recent, a male was born May 2018. The paddocks formerly housed Barasinga, Ankol cattle, Black Buck and Saitatunga. Other paddocks on the west side of the zoo support grazing herds of Gravis zebras, Saitatunga, Kirk's Dictics, Eastern Bongo, and Roan Antelope. Shavalsky's horses left the collection in 2009 to make way for the new African hunting dog enclosure. Other animals formerly housed here were Pear David's deer, red-necked wallabies, ostriches and emus. In 2011, a new exhibit housing African painted dogs on the site of the former Shavalsky's horse paddock was opened. In the style of an African research station with an African village, the exhibit has a dry landscape with fake copy stones. A pack of African painted dogs are the main exhibit and the first breeding occurred in 2018. Aardvarks and rock hyraxes are nearby. In 2018, the zoo opened a new Madagascar-themed zone close to the former lion enclosure. The area showcases the zoo's ongoing conservation work on the island. The central exhibit is a walkthrough enclosure featuring groups of ring-tailed lemurs, red-bellied lemurs and red rough lemur. Nearby are additional enclosures housing cockerel sifakas, crowned lemur and fossa, Madagascar's largest predator. Previous residents included a group of black lemur who were moved to one of the vacant islands near Bats Bridge in 2021. The northeast area of the zoo is where many forest-dwelling species are kept. As well as the chimpanzees, okapus, jaguars and tropical realm, there are enclosures for Congo buffalo and Red River hogs. Nearby is a large paddock and house for the zoo's Rothschild's giraffe herd. The area between the rear of Tropical Realm and the spirit of the jaguar has enclosures for various species including a group of native sand lizards, and an aviary for red-billed curassows. Animals formerly displayed in forest zone include maned wolves, babarusa, warthogs, Chilean pudu, Majorcan midwife toads, golden-bellied capuchins, Visayan warty pigs, ring-tailed codas and Bactrian camels. An enclosure formerly housing maned wolves was demolished and replaced in 2008 by a heated butterfly house called Butterfly Journey, which is based around the life cycle of a butterfly, featuring free-flying butterflies and moths, a cabinet of cocoons, and an area with caterpillars. Also featured in this exhibit is an area for a variety of different invertebrates and a mesh enclosure for some panther chameleons. Sumatran tiger as well as jaguars, Chester Zoo keeps lions, tigers and cheetahs in its big cat collection. The lions are the Asiatic subspecies found only in the gear forest in India in the wild. The zoo's former resident male Ahsoka was joined by a female, Asha, from Rome in 2006. The pair have bred on three occasions, but so far their only offspring to survive has been a male cub, Taeus, born and hand-reared in 2007. His upbringing was featured prominently in the first series of Zoo Days. 
Tejas left Chester Zoo for Bezos on early in 2008 as part of the European breeding program for this subspecies. Ahsoka left the zoo in early 2010, he was moved to Rome Zoo as part of the European breeding program. His replacement is three-year-old Iblis, who arrived from Plankendale Zoo in Belgium. In late summer 2011, Asha retired to Santayana Zoo and was replaced by four-year-old females Kiburi and Kumari. In 2007, a male Sumatran tiger called Kapala arrived from Dudley Zoo to join the two resident female Bengal tigers, who left in 2008. The same year, the zoo acquired a female tiger named Karana, but unfortunately it was discovered that the pair were related. Kepala departed to Dublin Zoo and a new male named Fabi was brought in from Prague Zoo to form a breeding pair of Sumatrans, a critically endangered subspecies in the wild. Karana and Fabi bred and have so far bred successfully on three occasions since 2011. The zoo welcomed its first ever cheetah cubs in June 2011. The cheetahs are the vulnerable Sudanese subspecies, a second litter was born in 2013 Bactrian camels and onagers in a large paddock in the center of the zoo, formerly the zebra exhibit. A paddock visible from the bat's bridge holds a group of Philippine spotted deer. Blue cranes flamingos bordering the paddocks is a waterway running north-south, along which the water bus formerly traveled, are a series of islands that once housed a variety of monkeys and lemur residents. Including ring-tailed lemur and white-faced sake monkeys, red rough lemur, cotton-top tamarins, golden lion tamarins, black howler monkeys and black and white rough lemur. The islands are currently vacant and due for renovation. A nearby island viewable from Bats Bridge has previously held Lowland Anoa and is now holding Babarusa. Bordering the waterways now are exhibits for black and white rough lemur, along with several gardens. There are also additional island enclosures for groups of ring-tailed lemur and Lacalautra bamboo lemur. More dusky potamelons are also located nearby. In the southeast corner of the zoo are enclosures housing assorted animals including red pandas, red-billed blue magpies and the wetland bird nursery. Near the rare parrot breeding center is a group of aviaries currently housing the zoo's owl collection. This includes, spectacled owls, great gray owls, northern hawk owls, brownwood owls, southern white-faced owls, and ural owls. The owl aviaries were recently modified. Several other avian species also share the owl enclosures, including Vietnamese pheasants. Alongside the Arara lawn is a set of recently refurbished aviaries that house various species of Asian songbirds and pheasants. Close to the tropical realm is a small exhibit showcasing endemic British reptiles, notably sand lizards and European adder. The zoo often has large model displays over the summer holidays featuring large life-sized replicas of prehistoric and extinct flora and fauna. From 2010 to 2019, there were several such displays held close to the Madagascar zone. These included a display of several life-sized animatronic dinosaurs, a display of life-sized prehistoric predators including extinct dinosaurs, mammals and large reptiles and a Lego-based variant of the same theme. The zoo has a service that gives people the option of adopting an animal of their choice, they are also given two complimentary tickets to allow them to visit the animals. They can also become members which allows them to visit Chester and a range of other zoos across the UK free of charge for a year. Every three months, members and adopters receive Z Magazine, which provides updates and information about what is happening at the zoo. During summer 2007, television crews from Granada filmed at Chester for the documentary series Zoo Days, a behind-the-scenes look at the day-to-day -day running of the zoo, narrated by Jane Horrocks. British broadcast rights were sold to five, and the first 20-part series began airing on British Terrestrial TV on October 8, 2007, transmitting on weekday evenings in a regular 6.30pm slot. A second 20-part series of Zoo Days was swiftly commissioned and began airing on March 3, 2008. The third 20-part series was broadcast from Colchester Zoo, before returning to Chester for the fourth 20-part series on November 10, 2008. In February 2009, the history of Chester Zoo was a contestant's chosen subject on Mastermind. In 2014 the zoo was the subject of BBC One drama Our Zoo, telling the story of the founding of Chester Zoo by the Mottershead family in the 1930s. During the six-part series, the show reached audiences in excess of 5 million viewers and was nominated for two national TV awards. In January 2016, Channel 4 began broadcasting a six-part series, The Secret Life of the Zoo, following the keepers and animals at Chester Zoo and narrated by Olivia Coleman from Series 1 to 5 and Tamsin Greek since Series 6. The series was a rating success and was recommissioned for a second series. Series 2 aired at the end of 2016. 
The show has now run for nine seasons with a compilation series in 2020. Thanks for watching.